So the question is really, how important are the dividends? You know, is it really important to have a high dividend yield? Okay. So I just want to uh, give an illustration of a dividend investment versus a non-dividend investment. Okay. So say, for example, you invest in this company and the company is worth $10. Okay. You, you, you pay $10 for it. And after one year, this company earns $2. Okay. $2 in income. So uh, maybe this company has a very high dividend policy. It decides to give the entire $2 to the shareholders. Okay, so $2 given to the shareholders or the investor. And essentially, this investor will have this $2 dividend and still continues to own this uh, company that's worth $10. Okay, so you contrast this with uh, you know, investing in a company, same thing, $10. Uh, and after one year, it grew, or rather it earns $2. But because it doesn't want to pay out a dividend, that $2 plus the initial capital, now the company is worth $12. Okay? But this company doesn't pay a dividend. But essentially, the investor is the same either ways. You know, either you have that $2 that is paid out plus a $10 company, or you have a share that's worth $12. Okay? So my point is that the dividend is not, shouldn't be the main focus. The focus should be on the total returns of the company. Is the company able to generate um, the returns? Is the company, uh, or does it have a very strong uh, future growth? Okay. So what are the potential risks of using a dividend uh, stock? Okay, so number one, dividends are not guaranteed. Okay, so today, um, a company might say, okay, our dividend policy, we, at the moment, we pay 6% dividend yield, 7%. But it is not guaranteed uh, because if you remember, dividends come from income. And in a poor business climate, let's say, I mean, you know, COVID is one example where you know, the, the borders have shut, a lot of businesses are affected, and when it's not generating an income, uh, it, is, it is going to be very challenging for them to pay you a dividend. So number one, it's not guaranteed. Number two is that if the company is not growing well or is there uh, or is uh, there are going to be significant competition that results in you know, eating into the market share of the company. Then there's going to be a potential capital loss or market share of this company. And <clears throat> that will lead to uh, unsustainable or decreasing dividends. Okay, So uh, some things you want to ask is, okay, what's the company's future earning prospects amongst its competitors today? You know, is there a high barrier to entry? Is there someone that's going to come in uh, and, you know, does this company have any expansion plans that require high capital expenditure? Because remember, it's going to pay, it's going to pay you all the dividends. It doesn't have any money left to expand. Uh, 